Hey everyone, it's Todd, and uh, today I just thought I'd share how I treat uh, my my yard tools or uh, garden tools. The long handles uh, I put linseed oil on, and what I did, I created a uh, a system using the the plastic uh, a pipe or tubes you get at the store. You cut them, and you put caps on one end, glue on the bottom, and then just have a loose cap. And then I fill this up with linseed oil, and as long as there's a cap on it, it actually stays pretty good. I've had the same linseed oil for a while, and I just top it off every now and then. Now, some of these tools, it'll only go up to so much, but then I wipe it on the rest of the way. But uh, it gives me a chance to let them soak in real good and give them a good soak. And I got a small one on the other end of this sawhorse I made for this system. That way I can carry it around, and uh, it, it's real simple. To, to use but and I always keep a rag usually I can use a rag for a while if I keep it in a sealed jar and that way I don't have to keep getting in a, a rag out for it so I'll demonstrate I'm, this is a pulse hole digger I'm fixing up that I got at sale just give you an example What I do, I just let that sit for a while. I give it about 10 minutes. And if it's something that's really bad, I'll let it sit there for a couple hours. But uh, uh, that's all I do. I let it sit in there, and then I'll, a couple minutes I'll come back and we'll uh, take it out and wipe it down. Okay, let's take it out, see how it looks. And after it soaks well, that's what it looks like the difference it comes out. And I just I just keep rubbing it in whatever's on my rag when I pulled it out, and I just work it in there all the way up and down. And I'll do that to the other side then. But it's a real simple way of doing the long handle tools. I got tired of trying to pour some on. You know, it take took me off forever to get it dabbed on. Uh, but I, like I said, I got a short tube over here. But that's basically the setup, and I can take these off. All I got is a, a, a clamp holding this on, and I got an L brace on each end of the sawhorse, and it just slips the, the clamp just slips over that, that L brace. Carry, like I say, the sawhorse around and move it around the shop. Anyway, that's what I got for today. I uh, hope that helps somebody. And uh, have any questions, comments, throw them in the box. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.